Hello everyone. So uh, just back from um, testing in Barber and Laguna Seca, uh, a bit jet lagged, but today I've seen a lot on social media that uh, most of you ask me what's the difference between a, an Indy car and a Formula One car. So I thought I was going to take a few examples from the onboard camera that I, um, I made. All right, so here we're in the car and a lot of people have asked me what is the big cable here on the right hand side that uh, we see. And that's, uh, that's for telemetry. That's to plug the car in the, in the garage. We have the same in Formula One and um, just for Formula One it's on the side pods. One of the difference is the engine revs that you need to put to, to start the car. There's much more engine revs to start the car and it's actually quite quite tricky initially uh, to leave the, the pit box. You can go the you can go open visor in the pit lane uh, with the arrow screen, that's not a problem, but obviously on track you don't want to do that. And uh, I guess you can see that uh, the steering wheel is, is much easier than, uh, than in Formula 1, there's less button. One of the other big difference is the lack of tire blanket. And you can see on the, the first lap, it's very slippery out there and you gradually improve your pace, improve your rhythm, but uh, leaving the pit is, is very slippery. And um, in the race, that's going to be one of the things that I really need to work on and, and to understand how to, to do well. Corkscrew, here we go, corkscrew. Uh, I believe that's uh, that's a corner that uh, you wouldn't be able to do in Formula One. Uh, when you get to that point here, you've got no idea where you're going. Uh, and then go straight down the hill. You can, you can, you can hear the engine going up in revs and down. And um, I think here in Formula One, the front wing, we just, um, we just, we just not make it. It would, it would touch the ground and, and really hurt the car. Low speed corners. Uh, in IndyCar, you can really push the entry. A lot of understeer here, big snap here, big snap on exit. Uh, and uh, you, you really use the mechanical grip of the car. So you don't mind about sliding the car. While it's here in Formula One, you can see that the, the smoothness of the steering wheel is, is very different and, and you don't really correct. Uh, the, the steering angle. So that's that's something I had to learn on the first day to understand how to go fast. Uh, again, yeah, here I wanted to uh, to show you the, the correction in the steering wheel. No power steering wheel here, super heavy steering wheel and you can feel all the, the bump in the car, in the track and, and you see the steering wheel, it's a big fight with it. Whilst well, here again, uh, on board, a bit of understeer and then very smooth exit. So this is, you know, this is something you're gonna see and realize that the the difference is between between the IndyCar on board and um, and the Formula One is is quite big, uh, really. You know, let me let me go back to early uh, going into the corner. You can see quite a big snap. Car's got much less downforce, therefore the it's 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 a lot lively through um, high speed corners, and uh, that is also something that I am you know I'm learning and, and trying to understand how the car behaves in in high speed corner because it's. Um, it is very different in, in that way. One thing you have in IndyCar and you don't have in, in Formula One is the change of uh, anti-roll bar, front or rear. So on the right of the cockpit here, where my hand is, that's the front anti-roll bar. You can change the position and you've got the same on the left for the rear anti-roll bar, meaning that you can really adjust the, adjust the balance of the car whilst the tire are going. Uh, and here we're going to turn, uh, turn two in Laguna, even though it's the first proper corner. And there's a lot of understeer in the car, so I guess I, I went softer front bar on that lap, trying to um, help the understeer mid corner. And then uh, same, you can play with the, with the rear bar, and if traction are going, then you normally go softer on the rear bar or stiffer on the front. And finally, the pit entry uh, and the pit box. So quite quite a tricky pit entry here, pushing the pit limiter, and the boxes are very very small. I mean, you've got you've got a tiny space to park the car. And, uh, and get it right. So that's, you know, compared to the big Formula One box um, here, it is, it is quite tight. You go in neutral uh, and then send it, drive stop on the mark, and then you will see the mechanics jumping uh, and changing the tires. So really, yes, I think mean, that's, uh, you know, that are, that are the main big differences. I hope that, uh, that answers some of your questions. And uh, really, I'm, I'm very, very much looking forward to the season and for you to follow.